Electrical insulator materials. Electrical insulator materials are used to separate live wires from each other when used to conduct electricity. This is important to stop shorts in the wiring that can cause fires, bodily harm, and damage. Materials such as PVC, glass, asbestos, rigid laminate, varnish, resin aka plastics Teflon, rubber and paper are very good electrical insulator materials. Although, some are obviously better than others. The paper should only be used in a bind until something of better quality can be used. Obviously, as if a spark were to fly, paper would be a great way to burn up something. However, paper was the first insulator used when electricity was first discovered. Since we have evolved into the use of plastics and rubbers. The most significant insulator for everything is simple, air. Yes, air acts as an insulator as well. Why use electrical insulator materials? Electrical insulator materials are used to keep the wires from shorting out. This can cause fires, sparks and other dangerous situations. And, nobody should ever touch a live wire, as an electrical shock can be deadly. Metals are a great conductor of electricity. This means that it carries the electrical current from one place to the next with little resistance. The resistance is a loss of energy or power. These metal wires need to have a coating on each wire and sometimes there is a coating on the bundle of wires. When the ends are exposed there needs to be a method in place that the wires won't touch, such as an electrical plug. This can be done by insert molding the wires into a plastic object. Insert molding to insulate wires is a very common thing. After all, there are many insert molded products under the hood that keep the power from touching. These parts are often a simple plug that plugs into another part, like you would an electrical outlet and a vacuum cleaner. Electrical outlets as an example. Your home electrical outlets are a great example of how electrical insulator materials. The power is in the wall outlet, correct? So, would you want to take a paper clip and poke in each side? Probably not. That would cause a shock of a lifetime. But, you can hold the end of the vacuum cleaner plug. This is because there is not a source of power going to that plug just yet. Does that make sense? It's something that people sometimes get a bit confused on. But, after a quick explanation, it does make sense. Most of the time we use common sense and don't even think about it. It's just something you know, you can touch the vacuum plug but not the wall outlet. But, the reasoning can be lost at times. Metals have low resistance for electricity, but the insulators have a high resistivity. This is why they work to keep the electricity where it belongs. Once your plug is inserted into the wall, the metal objects touch and the power can then be transferred to the device you are trying to power up safely. The cords that run to the wall has insulation on it as well. Always check your insulation, if it's frayed it could cause sparks and short out the power system.